Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So recently Microsoft started rolling out the Windows 11 version 22H2 feature update and they are pushing the update out to devices using a phased controlled staggered rollout as I have been posting over the last couple of days. Now, um, as many of you may know, if you are not prepared to wait for the update to be, to be made available on your device through Windows Update, you can always force upgrade your PC to Windows 11 version 22H2 by using the installation assistant, uh, the media creation tool and the, um, disk, the ISO disk image to basically force upgrade, which isn't recommended. But nonetheless, um, if you are using the media creation tool and you download the tool, um, you will just have to head to your download location and that's where you will find the little creation tool and if you double click on it, it will launch and open the tool and will then let you basically upgrade to Windows 11 version 22H2. Now, um, apparently um, users who are upgrading using the media creation tool have received a build upgrade and update for Windows 11 version 22H2. Now, if you have used Windows Update or as an example like I did, the installation assistant, um, the current build for Windows 11 version 22H2 will be OS build 22621.521. Now, um, if you have started recently using the media creation tool or have used the media creation tool to upgrade to um, version 22H2, the OS build will be bumped up from 22621.521 to 22621.525, which is now the latest OS build for Windows 11 version 22H2. So just take note of that as there has been a little bit of confusion regarding some of the build numbers with version 22H2. And this is one of the reasons for that build upgrade. And another um, reason for the update to the build is that as I did post on yesterday, uh, Microsoft recently rolled out an out of band update for version 22H2 to fix an installation media issue. And um, I'll leave a link in the description to that um, video. Now that update, which was an optional update made available through the Microsoft Update Catalog, um, if you did um, install it to fix an installation media issue, it also pushes the build to 22621.525. So it's exactly the same now, the same build if you use the media creation tool. And, and by the way, if you are upgrading using the media creation tool, tool and you do see your build is at 22621.525, it isn't adding anything new to Windows 11 version 22H2. Basically, it's just fixing that installation issue as I did post on yesterday. So it's not adding anything new. So I just wanted to let you know in case there was a little bit of confusion in regards to the build numbers for Windows 11 version 22H2. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.